Hey everybody, my name is Merlish and welcome back to Life is Strange episode 2. We were wandering the halls of Blackwell Academy. We already talked to Zachary. Hi. You're not- okay. You're not talking. Halloween party. Oh, and this is for the Halloween party thing? Oh god. Talk. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to what? come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Soiree? Really? Oh, like you care. I don't. <laughs> I You're really right. don't. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. All right. I'm not gonna talk to him, because I don't wanna. Hello. Trevor surveys his domain. <laughs> surveys his domain. Oh, hello. I'm not talking to you. Max, oh, can no. we talk? I just said I didn't want to talk to you. I know you. things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. Wow! I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Why are you talking about Kate, huh? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. You're an ass, though. That's all, Max. Well, I'm surprised he apologized to me. I... Yeah, I'm kind of confused. Okay. Wait, swap. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> Sit down, science. Science what? Science bruh? Hmm. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no shred Schrodinger kitty. See you soon. Is this a new one? No. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. It's working. Hi. That reminds me. I have to Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Wait, I thought that was Zachary. That guy there. I'm confused. Should I go to Warren? I'm gonna... Speak to him first. Yo, Max is smart. Not? Talk later, cool? Oh. Alright. So you can't help me? Oh I'm god. Trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Kate. Nobody. Kate. What do you want from me? Kate. Kate. Kate, I wanna help. Kate. Kate. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Kate, leave me alone. Kate. Damn it. Oh well. Whatever. Let's go to Warren. Warren. Hi. Let's make Brooke jealous. Cause you know, why not? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, crap. Wrong one. This is a thing. 
Oh, I do think I missed a picture though. Unless I can find someone here that is standing think, big brain, think. at a window. Man, I want that picture. Sorry if that bothers anyone. I just... Can I make a picture of him? He looks like the picture. <laughs> Kinda, right? Right? Stop. I'm gonna read that soon. Nah. It's really a window. Damn it. Jam it. Is there another classroom I can go? No. This one maybe? Oh, this is uh this is the same one. Hi. Excuse me, Max. <gasps> that scared the shit out of sure. me. You look worried. <laughs> is everything okay? Just between you and me. Oh wow. I'm worried about Kate Marsh. <laughs> That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief oh, yesterday. Oh, please. David Madsen. I yep. stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Yep. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? No. My word isn't good enough? <laughs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Yeah. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. Mm. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? Yeah. What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I what the hell is Rachel that guy too. doing there? But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you the said happened in the bathroom. <laughs> Did you see that guy? There was a guy standing in the hall, like in the middle with a T-pose. Something went wrong there. That is a bug. Um, wait. I don't know what he asked. Let's just say Nathan Prescott. It did happen. Nathan Look at him! Had at a the gun left! In the bathroom yesterday. <laughs> this is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, oh, God. should I? Excuse me, Max. Alrighty. Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. No, I'm going to Warren first. Because I need to talk to him. Hello. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I don't know what potassium is, but I'm gonna pick it. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. And if it doesn't, I need to make a picture of this. Oh. Weird science. Uh, I wanna make a picture, chemistry stuff. Can't I make a picture? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Maybe from this side? No? Why? Why? What is the composition of the picture? It's it. 
Damn it. Chemistry stuff. Oh, come on. Let's uh, maybe maybe it helps if I go back. <sighs> I want a picture. I want a picture. Damn it. Maybe I have to look at it first. Bring me the brain, Igor. Igor. No. Shit. Hey, Warren. Let's say uh, sodium. Asking me. Have daddy. Oh, lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're <laughs> going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> she blinded me with science. Oh. What's wrong with that? No! I want to make the picture! Is it another table I need to be at? I'm not gonna leave this room until I have the picture. Hey, Warren. Max? Asking me for a- Have that- I have a vision. go diem go -diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Maybe I need to talk to someone. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? <laughs> experiment? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. Okay. Whatever. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. She is so snappy. She's so snappy. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Do it. Not really. <laughs> or nothing will happen at all. All right. Mm -hmm. This is great. Hello. Can I not talk to her? What is this? Oh, only when I <laughs> stand in front of Hi, her. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Oh? Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Thank you. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Oh, what? Photos? What photos? I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh. oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You like photography? You must like photography. I do, but I'm certainly no artist. I'm all about the science. You can't debate numbers. Hmm. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. All right. I can't wait. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. Oh. Let's not talk about the petition. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, bye. Thank you. What did you... Oh. Speak. Hey, Warren. Are you... Maxwell Silver? Asking... 
Have that. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. I'm all acting chlorine? smart. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. It's all purple now. Cool. Eureka! She's oh, got it. Crap. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Okay then, why snap at me? Is there really no way to take the picture? I... Wait, <gasps> I have to look at him! Thank you. I I didn't even realize that was fun helping Warren. I was just looking at that. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. <gasps> oh, so cute. Skeleton. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. <laughs> because <laughs> that would be creepy. And Alyssa at the at the. Make me the, Bo. 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 Zena, you are photo. Photo. Yes. Oh right. yeah. Last photo of this episode. Got them all, I think. Wow, I got them all. So cool. Okay. Um let's see. I think I read this. Until the guy called you owes money to showed up. Yeah, this is where I'm, where I'm at. Some skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe pay him back, or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. I still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun, and now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe me. Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel's Rachel Amber's bracelets. That means we definitely have another suspect. This is so not how I intended to spend my time in Arcadia Bay. After all that drama, ah, oh, look at this, look at this drawing. It's so cool. After all that drama, Rama Volume XXX. I, 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 what the hell? Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep into the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank and thought Chloe fronts tough. And though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaken too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with watching Spongebob ended up in such a scary orbit. Still, I felt safer with her at my side and I was glad we had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. As Chloe's leg ca caught up in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course I was off trying to take a photo from my portfolio and then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it, tearing the sky apart. My head felt like it was exploding, like in that 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in it disappeared. I may be in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. These drawings are cool, man. Uh, then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and I was shitting kittens. <laughs> Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and natura naturally the train was coming around the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution to saving Chloe once again. But just in case this journal ever falls into the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret. So there. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at my campus. She was so sweet and sad that this had, had been the best week of her life, despite everything. That made me feel so awesome. Chloe really sees us like we're taking over the world. But what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off of the tracks? Chloe might have to lower her expectations, and so will I. That might be smart, yeah. Frank. So we met everybody in the story? 
Um, I'll never forget Frank, if only because he is the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected, I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll. Which, I guess he kinda is, since we were on his turf, testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense he wouldn't hurt her, but I was going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like Reservoir Docks, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again, since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the fuck reasons. I doubt Chloe will ever be parting with him anymore, but he's at the top of her suspect list now. I don't think he did shit about Rachel. Alright, speak. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Okay. Who's that with Victoria? Hey, Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Hey. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Stupid. You're stupid. Dana. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Are you kidding me? Ah! I can't talk to... Or maybe... Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Oh my god. No time to talk, Max. Fuck. Art in progress. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson like he gives a shit. Hey! Like anybody does. Hey! Max is such a little... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Nope. Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. Thank you. you. Would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Oh, please do forget me. Please Assholes. do. Alright. Sit, I guess. Hey. Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos oh of Kate? Oh my god. Now this is so wrong. And weird. That's fucking disturbing, dude. Oh, hey, Warren. Hey, hey. What's up? What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Oh. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today. Warren! So time I wish it was in my class now. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. What's your problem? <laughs> I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. That's cool, yeah. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. True. I agree. All right. Chloe. Wait. Oh. Uh, Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? What happened? Is Frank with her? Or is she with Frank? Why is she telling me this? Because she said at the junkyard that she was happy that I didn't shoot. And now she wanted me to shoot? What? That's kind of strange. We can Wait, thank no, sorry, Jefferson. I need this. 
Speaking of expectations, David Madsen stopped to talk to me without being a total prick. I thought he was going to bust me for taking the heat for Chloe's weed, but we just talked a little. And for the first time, I felt kind of sorry for David. He's a veteran, I know he probably saw awful things in combat. He said he doesn't want to fight with Chloe or me, but all the shit he's pulled and treating Kate like she's a suspect just makes it hard to get along. But I promise to try for world peace. Something odd happened, as if everything happening isn't bizarro, but I saw Kate having an intense conversation with Mr. Jefferson, and she ended up practically running away from him in tears. I wish I could have casually asked, oh by the way, what's up with Kate, like he would tell me anyway. I know Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something, so what did he say to make her so upset? Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. Alright. Reality TV for some of them. I'm gonna listen to you now. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Oh. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Yep. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Right. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy what? shit is going down at the girl's door! Oh, Zachary, no! Sorry, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remains. No, 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 no. Something's up with Kate. I know Dismissed. it. Dismissed. <laughs> What's up with Kate? Is this for real? It what? Out. I didn't think she was that messed up. What it is wrong? Go, 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 Max. What are they looking at? Oh shit! She can't die. She can't. Oh my god. Not again. Not now. Are you kidding me? I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh my god. I hate this. I don't want to... Did I just stop time? Keep going, Max. You can do it. Oh my god. This is the weirdest but most awesome shit ever. I feel so stressed though. Kate, why? Hi, David. Come on. Get in. That is even cooler that you can stop time. Yes. This is crazy! Doctor! Do something. Oh! What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Oh, now no. I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. It does. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Hey, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. 
Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Oh, no. What? Um, it's too dangerous? I believe you, Kate. But it's dangerous for both of us if I get involved now. I told you exactly what happened. Well, it's too late to help, Max. No, 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 too no. Too late. Yes, I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, Kate. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Oh my god, and Then don't everybody do at Blackwell it. can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. Thank God. You're my friend. Thank God, I Forever. was- Forever. Can we hug on it? Oh God, step off. No, nobody cares what? about me. Nobody. Your sisters. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Suicide is a sin? Oh my God. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. Oh no, <gasps> oh my God. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class. 
so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I need a minute. Uh... I feel so bad right now. You have no idea. Oh my god. Could I have saved her? I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Oh my god. I liked her so much and I really wanted to help her. What do I do? What do I do? I'm- I- I can't blame Jefferson. I can't do that. And I think what Nathan did was the worst. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. I couldn't Careful, care less. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit, that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. Thank you. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. Oh, All right, please Coffield, shut up. Please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. I'm not going to do that. It's not going to it's not going to help me. Right? Right? <sighs> Wait. Give me a minute. All right. Um, I'm going to try all of them out. So I'm going to cut this up into little pieces so you can only see the changes I've made. Jefferson made her cry. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video. Mac and was I didn't some return her calls. Asked. I did. She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. What? Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the oh, no. Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? No. I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. I don't want this. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinary measures for you. This is a I bad understand. choice. There are bigger things at stake than me. No. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. 
Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to- All right, next one. David bullied her. I'm sure as hell not gonna pick the Jefferson pick. Just, no way in hell, he didn't do shit. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You Excuse have no me. idea what you saw. <laughs> Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little sh Are you gonna take this <laughs> you junkie's lying word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Max, falsely accusing other people seems to be a habit with you. Hey! I trust my Shut security up. officer. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Let's Therefore, uh, Max, no. I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend what? you for a few days. Excuse me. No. No. Let us go back to the Nathan pick because that one is the best one. All right. The Nathan pick was the final pick. Let's sign this thing. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. Mm -hmm. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I have such a stomach ache. Kate was so cool. I really, really, really wanted to help her get better wanted to help her get through this, but they didn't really give me the chance. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. So did I. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons. Not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Oh. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. Cool. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Oh, that's cute. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
That memorial for Kate broke my heart. My god. And that ending with that binder with Kate's name on it and her picture, what the hell does it mean? <sighs> oh my god. I'm heartbroken, seriously. You told Kate to go to the police, you told Kate to wait for more proof, you answered Kate's call, you didn't try to shoot Frank. What?! I could have saved Kate's life?! What?! Are you kidding me?! Are you kidding me?! Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Are you serious, game? Are you fucking serious? How could I have saved her? There was no way I said all the right things. Oh my god. I'm- uh, I'm gonna... Cry my soul to sleep tonight. Ugh. Anyway, um, this was it for this, uh, episode. The whole episode, episode two. I guess we'll have to wait for episode three now. I'm so sad. I really wish I could have saved Kate. I really wish. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do now. So, yeah, I really, really hope you like this video. <laughs> I'm really sad, so I'm gonna go. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.